cancel my subscription. I do not want the tea this month. <laughs> I fuck with Shawty cause she bought a business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. <sighs> so, girl, today we're doing a get ready with me, and i never done a get ready with me, and I wanted to for a while now, but I wanted to talk, you know. I don't really be talking to y'all like this, so I feel like this can be the video where we talk to each other okay y'all gotta be in the comments okay while i'm having this conversation while i'm talking y'all gotta be talking back to me in the comments or it's not the same or i'm just gonna be sitting here talking to myself so like i'm not a makeup artist or nothing so i'm not gonna be sitting here giving y'all like makeup advice or nothing so that's not what this is <laughs> i still kind of don't know what i'm doing all the time so that's really not what this is but <clears throat> so I put on my Instagram and I asked people to send me like scenarios, advice, topics, anything that I could talk about on my video. And somebody sent maintaining friendships as the topic. And I just feel like that's a great topic because in the last two years, like things have just changed for real. People have changed. Things are just different when it comes to like maintaining your friendships, friendships in general. Shout out to DeAndrea underscore Lachelle. I'm gonna put her IG up here just in case you guys wanna follow her, check her out. Thank you girl for sending me this topic. So let's just get to it. Let me do my eyebrows first, then we're gonna come back. Y'all hear that? I, I just want to record my video. That's it. That's all. <laughs> this man is working on a house. I didn't know he was going to be working right next to my window. Literally, I can see this man. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. But getting to my eyebrows, though. Okay, y'all. So, maintaining friendships. I honestly feel like this wasn't even important to me. I don't, I wasn't conscious of it until right after college almost after college because i feel like the older we get the more important it becomes because you just become more aware of the fact that life is short and you really got to appreciate the people that come into your life especially the ones that you deem really important to you you know what i'm saying like those people that you know you don't want to lose so you do what you can for your friends and you have to like your friends somewhat become your family at some point. I, I know for me, mine did. Like, they became my family. They became important to me. Seeing them happy is important. But, you know, sometimes as adults, life really gets in the way of doing what you would like to do with your friends or what you would like to do for your friends. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't understand that life happens. I feel like some friends can be... And I don't even know if you can call them friends, but they can be really selfish. Like they want so much from you. They want so much time from you. They want you to listen to their problems. <clears throat> they want you to do so much, but it's just like, I can't, you know, I have this going on. I have that going on. I can't be here for you and then try to stay afloat for myself. You know what I'm saying? It just becomes a lot. You have to really learn who your friends are, learn what they need, what they like. Some friends might not like to hang out all the time. They just might need you to be there to talk to them sometimes, which is cool. I have friends like that that I don't have to hang out with all the time. They don't need me <laughs> to go anywhere with them. We just talk and that's enough for them. But then I have some friends who like to hang out a lot, go out, maybe have some friends who like to drink or whatever. You have to know your friends basically know what your friend needs but maintaining friendships is not an easy process it's super important but it's just not easy because we all have different lives we all have different things going on and i just feel like sometimes people they just really want too much they want too much and it's just like girl i am not your i mean girl i am not your man okay 
you want too much you want me to be here here and here for you like i'm trying you know but i can't do too much and you got to protect your pieces you cannot let people you can't let people use you to the point where you can't take care of yourself you know what i mean yeah i'm gonna tell y'all a story uh i haven't really talked about it much because you know it was a hurtful situation and i didn't really appreciate it at all so this is like during the beginning of quarantine during the beginning of you know the c word i don't know if i can say that on youtube but this is the beginning of that time right so let, let's just keep in mind everybody is going through something okay everybody's going through something everybody's trying to handle something everybody's just trying to stay afloat with what we're going through as a whole country so i had a friend i was friends with for a long time like since middle school we were friends and i maintained that friendship all the way through college and it wasn't hard you know that was one of the things like we just had to talk all the time you know <clears throat> to stay friends we talked all the time we didn't really see each other a lot um that's all we really required of each other was just us talking all the time you know which was cool it was fine it worked for a while but when quarantine started <clears throat> you know we all going through stuff i lost my job i'm trying to build a business I'm trying to build this YouTube stuff. I'm trying to maintain my actual relationship. I'm trying to maintain family relations. Like, it's just a lot. Plus, trying to take care of myself and make myself happy, right? So, this is one of those things I was talking about where I was saying, you know, <clears throat> sometimes people just need too much from you. And it's just like, wait a minute. I can't give you all of it. Like, I just can't give you all of it. So, I would talk to this friend, you know all the time we would talk on the phone all the time even if i was working i know i made sure to like just be on the phone sometimes just talking because i know that's what that person needed and that person was going through some things so i knew like i had to be there for that person you know as a friend i had to be there so cool i'm there but then all of a sudden you know i don't know it's like this friend just started spiraling or something this friend just needed too much from your girl and your girl didn't have that much to give okay needed too much from me and i just didn't have that much to give like i would be out this friend would be calling me and i don't answer and now she mad and i'm like what girl like i'm out i can't be on the phone and i'm in public at an event like what do you want from me <laughs> that's how i feel like what 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 is it what what <laughs> I can't give you all of this time. You know, we're grown, we're adults. You have to figure stuff out on your own. Like I'm out here trying to live my life. Like I'm trying to keep my life afloat. You know what I'm saying? So this friend gets mad at me because I can't answer the phone when she needs me to answer the phone, when she needs to talk about something. And it only happened like a few times. Cause I mean, this was like, when nobody was working, you know? So everybody got all this time on their hands. So we out. You know just trying to make life something when it wasn't so she got mad she said some hurtful things you know a friend shouldn't say to another friend and i cut her off since that day since that day i have not since that day i haven't spoken to her i haven't said anything and i'm not because i just feel like what am i about to say you know what you did you know it was wrong i said what i had to say in that moment and that's it like that's it i don't have time for that i feel like some friends just won't they just want to take 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 and they don't want to give and at some point you have to just realize you know this ain't good for me this ain't good for my mental health and i got a girl you got to go you know <laughs> bye and it's so crazy because yes you are important to me yes this friendship means a lot to me but at some point i have to think about myself you know and a lot of people make you feel bad for they make you feel bad for putting yourself first and thinking about yourself but it's not a bad thing you just you don't be selfish with it you know what i'm saying don't be malicious with taking care of yourself or malicious with caring for yourself you know what i mean don't do it with ill intent and that's not what i'm doing like my parents you know we were that close like parents knew we were friends family knew we were friends because we were like family we knew each other for a long time like a long time so my family knew her blah 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 they would ask me have you talked to so-and-so have y'all talked have and have you hit her no i have not and no i'm not going to <laughs> like it's just not gonna happen I'm just not doing it. I'm not. I'm sorry. Because I feel like for me, I'm always the one 
fixing stuff like not just her or anything but with anybody it's always me like if we had an incident i'm gonna reach out to you and i'm gonna be like you know what okay let's talk about it. let's reconcile this situation but i said no i'm not doing that I, i'm just not doing it no because i feel like i shouldn't have to i didn't do anything wrong you know i just kind of i told her something as a friend should and she got mad but i'm just like if i don't tell you the truth if i don't tell you the real who's gonna tell you that's what type of friend i am like, i'm gonna tell you the truth I'm going to try to my best to say it in a nice way so you don't get offended. But, you know, she said the hurtful things. And I said, okay, I'm going to leave it there. You know, I'm, I'm going to stop trying to help so much, you know. So I left it there and it's been there ever since, girl. Some friendships just not going to last. They just not. Because you have to understand everybody is different. We all different, girl. Some people, some people don't care to maintain a friendship. Some people don't care to give their portion to the friendship, you know? But there are ways to maintain friendships. Like I said, you know your friends. Y'all have to talk about... You have to be able to talk to your friends for real. Because a friendship is somewhat like a relationship, honestly. <clears throat> when you think about it. You know how you and your relationship and y'all learn, like, each other's <clears throat> love languages or whatever. You dang they gotta do that with your uh friends you gotta learn what they like how they need to be loved or cared for but you have to be willing to for real like you have to be willing to put in that work with your friends because at the end of the day girl when something happened who you gonna call your friends even if like you got a man if something happened with your man you don't want to call your friends but you don't want to have to be that person that only calls their friends when something is wrong or when you need advice or you know you don't want to be that friend so it's you have to like i'm gonna go fight that man i think that's what i'm gonna have to do we'll come back okay we're gonna try to work through all of that that he got going on out there but at the end of the day y'all if you deem that friendship important act like it's important you know make time for them when you can and if you can't, you know, invite them to just be in your space with you doing whatever you're doing. Communicate. Communication is number one in all relationships, not just relationships and friendships as well. You know, if you can't, if you don't have the time, communicate that with your friends so they at least know, like, okay, I know that she's going through some things right now. She has so much going on right now. So she probably won't be there as much as she used to, or she probably won't be there as much as I would like her to. So just communicate that with your friends, you know, let them know. Like, girl, I got so much going on right now. I can't, I can't talk how I used to talk to you. Mm -mm. My sister got some lashes from Amazon. Uh, they thin, I don't really like them like that. I'm gonna have to put on my other ones. This ain't it. Mm -mm. Give people chances, you know. Don't, you know, don't let nobody walk all over you, but give people chances to actually figure things out, you know? Like, if your friend messes up one time, don't just cut them off like it's nothing. Give people chances to get it right. Not too many. Two chances max, and you out of here. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> but for real, don't let people walk over you. Don't give them too many chances, but especially if you didn't communicate something to them and they're not there for you or they acting like the friendship not important and y'all just not communicating give them a chance to communicate you communicate with them how you can and if it still doesn't work out you know girl some people just not meant to be in your life and that's just the real some people can't go where you're going and some people i have just been here for what they were supposed to be here for in your life so sometimes you got to be okay with that you got to be okay with letting people go girl for real Friendships should not be hard. They should not be hard. I feel like it takes understanding, but it shouldn't be hard at all. Friendships should not stress you out like a relationship, girl. You are not my man. <laughs> you should not stress me out like that. But give what you can to your friends. Like, don't be selfish. Be understanding that other people have things going on, and we all out here just trying to make it, basically. I need to put these lashes on. I think that's the last thing I had to do. Maybe I should spray my face. I don't know. Yeah, I, me and this makeup thing, we just out here. <laughs> we out here in the deep. <laughs> we just out here. I be doing whatever. Whatever I feel like doing. You gotta stop giving people access to you all the time. Like, if you trying your best, 
for a friendship to work and this person is not i'm sorry to tell you it's probably they time has probably expired <laughs> and the lord is trying to tell you something let it go let it go they don't give a shit anymore take accountability as well as a friend if your friend come to you and say you really ain't been there for me you really left me high and dry when when this was going on take accountability like don't try to make it seem like you weren't there when you know you weren't you know you weren't there for your friend girl you know you looked at that phone ring you know you the phone red you know you did just take accountability like girl yeah i i I looked at that phone ring. I looked at it. I just didn't feel like talking. Just be honest. Be honest. I um, I'm not gonna put my sis on blast, but uh, one of my friends, she had tweeted like, none of her friends called her this month. Like, don't call her with none of your problems. Do not hit me up. I am not willing to listen this month. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> Okay, I don't see nothing wrong with that, you know? I don't see nothing wrong with that at all because sometimes you have so much on you, yourself, like you have so much going on that you just cannot take on somebody else's weight as well. Because that's exactly what happens. Like when your friends come to you talking about something or talking about their problems, their issues, you are kind of like taking in that energy that they have. And sometimes you can't handle their energy right now. Like I have a lot going on. I can't handle what you got going on too. And I definitely don't feel like she said that in a malicious way. It was just like, listen, <laughs> I'm tired, okay? And you have to be aware, you know? You have to be aware of how your how your problems or what you have going on is affecting somebody else that you're telling them to because girl when my friend was coming to me all the time with her issues you know it's like nothing you could do and you want to help people so bad and it's like i can't i literally can't help you i'm feeling bad because i can't help you i know you're going through a b c and d so i'm doing what i can but it's like you get mad at me for not doing something a couple times for not talking to you a couple times and it's just like i'm tired of hearing it like i'm tired of hearing that like every time you call me it's nothing good i know you tired of going through it, but i'm tired of hearing about it so listen just be aware people will dump stuff off on you like it's nothing they'll just dump their problems dump their life and you just like that's a lot so it's okay create boundaries for yourself and respect your friend's boundaries as well like i feel like what she did was created a boundary for the month and as her friend you have to accept it of course if you really got something going on your friend's gonna be there for you but if it's just little stuff you know i'm pretty sure she was just like keep it you know don't tell me the tea <laughs> i don't want the tea this month <laughs> cancel my subscription i do not want the tea this month <laughs> for real and i respect it because you just some people they just get tired can't handle everybody's problems and your own all the time and people change girl change is good though but as your friends change you gotta you know adapt to their changes i got these lashes from lash culture i think i like those i like those very much those amazon ones i don't know about that my sister be seeing stuff on tiktok girl and she just be buying it i think she has saw you can get like 30 pairs or something for like 20 dollars something like that on uh, um tiktok so she bought them and she's just trying them out but now you know you got 30 of them what you gonna do <laughs> if you don't like them we look like something chime in down in the comments below about this conversation though because i really want to hear other people's perspectives about you know friendships in general and maintaining friendships like do y'all think it's hard how do you maintain friendships like I said, I just learned my friends. I know some of my friends really just need me to be there, you know, just talk. And some of my friends need me to take trips. Some of my friends need random FaceTimes, you know. Some of my friends just need checking up on. Some of my friends I just got to talk to, like on Facebook or something. <laughs> Every friend is different. You just got to figure your friend out. Figure yourself out, honey. Y'all, I thought about doing a red lip. I have this stuff, NYX butter gloss i have it in the red little pack and then i have the pink little pack i like this pack but my outfit that i'm about to put on is black and white so i'm thinking about like doing a red lip or something i don't know y'all 
Let's see. I'm scared of red because I'm dark, man. I look light, huh? Them lights, that's them lights. But I'm a little dark. <laughs> I'm a little dark, so I be scared. I think I did a red lip one time, and that was for Christmas. But other than that, girl, I'll throw that pink on. I look stupid. But it's a process. Relax. Relax, everyone. Girl, I'm almost done. I'm trying to see what I should put on my lips. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. How y'all line your lips like that? Girl, you just gotta put the pencil on there, go across the line, and do it. Oh lord, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like it. Next, I need some pink. Okay, this is what we wearing today. Y'all can't really see the color for real. Let's see. There it goes. That's what we doing. Maybe I should like line it a little more. This is what we doing, okay? I didn't want to go with pink because I always do pink, but pink really is my color, so we gonna go with it. Let me put some clothes on. I hope my outfit is cute because if it's not, oh, it's cute in my head, so. But you know, sometimes when stuff cute in your head, it does not come out like that. Usually I'm spot on if it's cute in my head, but sometimes it's just like, oh, girl, that is not it. I must have to do my hair, y'all. I'm really ready to take these braids down. I've only had them for about like a week or so, but I'm over it already. Listen, I live by even. I be seeing a lot of people. I be seeing a lot of people like, what edge control is the best? And I'm just like, you don't watch my videos, do you? <laughs> I live by even, y'all. It's the best, I promise. Y'all know I don't do too much for my edges, so I'm just keeping it simple. Bam, that's all I'm doing. It's my edges. Now we can get dressed because it's almost time for me to uh, get up out of here. It's past time for me to get up out of here. Okay. Yeah, I really should have been recording this whole time because my sister over here trying to help me film a TikTok. Y'all. I edit videos, but these TikToks and stuff, this a little hard. <sighs> Come on, girl. Don't do that. Okay, what did I say I was doing? Looking at the rack. I'll okay. touch the rack. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your braids looking nice. Did you drop it right? Did my braids look right? What it look like? You turned too fast. Oh, it was me. Sure. Come look at it. It was probably you. Okay, I ain't gonna look at it. Come on. Let's record it again. Action! Good. Perfect. Let's go. Let's watch it. Okay, y'all. I got my ticket to... You know what? I'll do the outro in the car. Y'all, we done made it to our destination and everything, but... That's it for the get ready with me. Obviously, I'm ready because I'm here. But I hope y'all enjoyed our little conversation. You know, make sure y'all comment below. Like the video if you liked it. Tell me what you think. Like for more. And that's all I got for y'all. So I'm your curls popping your grind. Never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here.